can build a but much bigger let's, section let's with debate, more money. Let's debate, let's debate in okay. private. Trump is no stranger to controversy, but he's being slammed for a provocative tweet about Ilhan Omar, which he pinned on his Twitter feed. Many say it incites religious hatred and violence against the Congresswoman who is getting death threats. The tweet is a cut and paste version of a speech Ilhan made at an event by the Council of American Islamic Relations. Because they recognize that some people did something. Her words, people who did something, referring to the perpetrators of 9-11, was taken out of context and used to suggest she was disrespectful and was downplaying the attacks. Thousands of people are using the hashtag I stand with Ilhan Omar. And American film director Ava DuVernay, who often challenges Trump online, posted an excerpt from her film, 13th, saying, since you like to intercut speeches in news footage, here's one that actually is in context. Let's take a look. Knock the out of him, would you? Seriously. This doesn't happen because they used to treat them very, very rough. And when they protested once, you know, they would not do it again so easily. Democrats rushed to her aid. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said, members of Congress have a duty to respond to the president's explicit attack. Ilhan Omar's life is in danger. And presidential candidate Senator Bernie Sanders said, Ilhan Omar is a leader with strength and courage. She won't back down, and neither will we. Ilhan Omar maintains that she will continue to speak up for minorities and against hatred. Should we expect more of these tweets from Trump targeting one of the two Muslim women in Congress?